Hi guys and today I have a very interesting project for you and today we will make Jarvis so what Jarvis is uh, it's I think you might recognize it on Iron Man um, Iron Man's um, chest which acts like its um, heart and it's an arc reactor so um, he calls it Friday and some people have created and named it um, Jarvis so you can call it whatever and um, it's an AI project so what AI is it's artificial artificial intelligence and it's like a kind of very smart brain so it can pick up things very fast so if you give it a line of code it can pick that up very fast and learn very uh, like too many things from it and now you might think what's the difference between robots and AI so robots it's more in the um, engineering part where you have to create it and you will just give it a bit of code and it can't learn too much from it it will just do the work for you and it's not that interesting but AI it's kind of a brain it doesn't have a body whereas uh, robots have a body so um, if we combine AI and robotics um, we, we can see some self-driving cars which are um, very popular right now and um, smart cars which are uh, like they are the most popular cars right now i think so um yeah we'll make jarvis which is equivalent not um equivalent like um not comparative um but yeah it can do the work for you so it's uh, kind of like alexa and google um, assistant so yeah let's make it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe 98% of you are not subscribed um, so please subscribe to my channel and please comment down below what video do you want next and I'll make a video on it so for this project I'll be using PyCharm so I already created my project and now what I'll do is first I will go to my terminal and type pip install pytsx3 for me it's showing requirement already satisfied because I've already installed it but for your, you it will take 3 to 4 minutes so once it's done you can follow up with me so first now I will um, import the module PyDTSX3 and then I will import another module web browser so what these two modules are is PyTTSX3 is a text to speech module which will make our computer speak to us so what this stands for is PY stands for Python TTS stands for text to speech and X3 stands for version 3 and what will the web browser help us do is it will help us open many websites from the Chrome browser so it's very helpful like to open YouTube or SoundCloud.com to play music and all. So yeah, that's um, very helpful. So now what I'll do is I'll create a variable called Jarvis equals to PyTTSX3.init and if you're using um, Windows you can um, you, uh, type sappy5 in here but I am using Mac so I won't do that and um, now what we will do is we will see our computer speak to us so, so now what we will do is jarvis.say hi and then jarvis.run and wait And now let's run it and see what we get. So to uh, change it to a ma uh, male voice, um, what I will do so is that's what we are getting now. I will and type voice. I of female voice which I don't want. I want and male voice. And to do that, we learn in get segment. property. Over here also it will be voices like this, and then. Over here it will be Jarvis dot set property 
um, over here it will be voice comma voices square bracket zero dot id and now jarvis dot save hi and then jarvis dot run and wait so let's see if it's work hi so it has changed into a male voice so for the next segment i will be teaching you um how to like how will our jarvis greet us and take our command to open some many um things so now yeah. once this is done i will import another module called time so it's already installed in your computer even web browser is already installed in your computer so now what we'll do is we'll ask for jarvis to um ask us that what should we give him the command so for that um we'll type um uh, and we'll give it an another variable which will be for example i'll name it as command and then equals to input and the uh, inside the input it will be give me your command and now we want our jarvis to greet us so for that um, we will learn it in the next okay segment. so to fix this error first what you should do is add commas like over here you should remove or and add commas and then import random and then what you should do is create another variable which will be speech in this example speech equals to um input random dot random and then the variable name which is command like that and now we'll change all these commands into speech speech and then the last one let's see if that works um okay so if random choice sorry random choice yep and now that works so it will just take a random choice between these two or uh, three and it will just do it for you so what should i do for you if i give open youtube will it work opening youtube yep it does work so now um if if what let's say um open what open my youtube channel in speech what we can do now is dot say right guys i am opening your youtube channel and then jar will start on and wait and print the same thing
and um, over here I um I'll have to go to my channel and by the way if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel I will just go to my own channel this time. and copy this link and uh, the browser will open that for me open I think so this will work ok what should I do for you yep now let's see what will happen so once again I will do for you Open my YouTube channel. Right, Yeesh, I am opening your YouTube channel. So it works. So for now, that's it for this video. If you want a part two or if you want a more advanced version of this, mm -hmm. please comment down below. And yeah. You can just carry on with the commands. I have put in four commands for you. You can just carry on with the commands. And whatever you do, good luck with that. Bye. And please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. Bye.